It seems like a good plan in the moment. You know? Yeah! That blew up like three propane tanks at once and then I uh, blew up the rest of them. There you go. How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to The Last Stand 2. The Last Stand, a series of zombie survival games from con artist games. The first one is like a classic. People love that game. A year later he comes back with this one and just blows it out of the water. Takes everything people loved about that first game and expanded it in incredible new ways. I basically love everything that con artist has done. That's it. It's over. Safe at last. He's infected. Oh God, that just went sideways so quickly. Ah, oh, it's over, it went great. No, it's worse than ever. <laughs> it's, this might be the same main character actually. This like uh, b green shirted guy with the grizzled beard there. Something is still controlling me. <laughs> Oh, there's, there's an a attempted explanation for why you're a non-autonomous character. 40 days. It's been a month. Well, you're not very good at counting. Things like that basic math is meaningless in the apocalypse. Back at square one. The crash still haunts me. They are still everywhere. Radio broadcasts said today that they're sealing off the mainland. 40 days until the last boats and aircraft leave. Got to make it to Union City. So, it's been a month. We're on a 40-day countdown, is what I'm, what I'm gathering from that. The cool thing is Union City is the third game. Knew I had played the first. Oh god, just right off the bat. Hey, you just gonna come running in there? Like, it's just, like, you own the place? They seem to have balanced it out. The zombies aren't hoarding you as crazy while well, you figure out how to aim. So there's so much more to do here now. You're not rooted in one location. Going on like excursions, looking for new gear and survivors and things require like genuinely going out and doing it. I'm going to spend two, so 10 total on the barricade. Yeah, any more than that's a waste. We have enough supplies for zero days travel. The sheriff's office has a high likelihood of a gun, I guess. I will do the sheriff's office because that seems like a guarantee. I'll do the supermarket and I'll do the park storage which is a ways out of the way wow all of a sudden this has like some stress I found a chainsaw and a bear trap the chainsaw was out of control strong in the original game like probably too strong oh am I supposed to give you guys a weapon what if I don't give you a weapon like, I'd, I want you to help, I want you to survive, but like, I don't know, man, I trust myself a little bit more, even if my aim is a little crazy. This is kind of funny, it feels very like plants versus zombies all of a sudden. I just know I don't want to use all my traps at once. I'm trying to spread that around. Bah! The levels just start so suddenly. Oh, see, one of my one of my traps went off instantly. Thanks, dogs, for running right into that and immediately spoiling that for me. Oh, no! Oh no, the survivor doesn't improve my hourly repair. And, and does it make searching better? Why? Why are you not more helpful to me? I really wish that you were. I'm gonna stop at the quick stop and the house? There's the question mark there, which kind of wigs me out a little bit. So you're getting my other gun and I'm for sure taking the revolver. I basically aced that entire game using nothing but the revolver, but it should be clear to, yeah, chuck, chuck those spent shells at him. That'll slow him down. I mean, I guess it would be stupid to just chuck him on the floor. The revolver is good. I would say its quality as a weapon depends greatly on your ability to aim it. Supplies gathered, one, and a gas cylinder, which maybe I would shoot that and it would be a trap. Oh, see, yeah, that one's totally spent. So in that case, I'll just hang on to them until shit really hits the fan. Cause I don't, I don't want to immediately be using these traps and things I've found. Like so far, I, I'm, now all of a sudden I am having some some slight difficulties. Things are seeming a little tricky. People, people are really dashing their way in here, doing more damage to my barricade than I've had in a while. But I'd rather save the traps for a night where it's like once I've had a failure. Is it worth me worthwhile to immediately move on if I can, you know? Or do I stick around because I I want to clear everything? Maybe there's another survivor. Maybe there's more weapons survivors found another supply I think it might be worthwhile in that scenario to like hang back especially when uh, with little extra effort I could fully clear the entirety of the map this is this is looking good with all of us working together here oh, yeah, baby. what day am I on 
Oh man, 34 days left. Oh God. One, two, three, four, five. More to clear. More population equals more of everything. I'm guessing that means zombies, supplies, weapons, survivors. Days travel four. I have to sacrifice days just to travel? I should have thought of that. So maybe you don't try to hit every area. You're just picking one path. So I either do one huge stop and require two more before Union City. Oh, stopping at the big area seems risky. I'm gonna go to Whistler's Grove. Whistler's Grove, basements. Not a fan, but it's a necessity at the moment. Built a crude barricade upstairs to hold them off tonight. Should do the trick. Don't have much time or energy to build anything substantial. Best bet is to find what I can and keep moving towards Union City. So that first night, I don't immediately have to, to worry about that. The barricade caps out at 60. It is a new barricade, so you can totally ditch the one behind you. That's good to know. As soon as you feel like you're close to clearing the map, then commit to that. I'm doing the big house now while time is less of an issue. And I'll grab those two, a three and a four. I'm a genius. Look at me. <laughs> I had a supply left over from the last one. That's a cool mechanic too. You can clear the entirety of a, a, a city, a town, an area. And then I'm sure people have mapped out hyper-efficient routes in this game of ways that you can... Oh, I, I need to worry about kill shots more. They've already taken out half my barricade health. You could find the necessary supplies to leave the city probably within like two nights or something. There's probably a way to get to Union City by like day 20. Ah, oh, survivor found. No weapon. So it's it's still just me, but now we have a, a lot of the area covered. Oh, come on guys work with me here Help me help me put down a few of these before they actually reach the barricade. Oh god Okay, the SWAT the SWAT guy is one thing I, I wake me up when I realized there was a guy with armor walking at me and then I realized he was swinging an axe Why are some of them with axes? Especially a SWAT guy crossing over careers. He's a SWAT officer and a firefighter What's that shit about? I could travel already. How dangerous is that to travel without first like sweeping this city. I am gonna risk staying behind. A shotgun and a compound bow. I want to use the bow. The shotgun in this game is borderline irritating. Oh, this is satisfying because you never reload. Like each individual shot is a little bit slower. Oh, but the satisfaction with which your arrows actually stick out of the things you're shooting is phenomenal. Oh, that was great. I loved that in a way that I, I really didn't expect and am borderline a little bit like concerned for myself. I shouldn't take that level of joy and something like that. The aim is tricky. I, do you know what? Now that I'm here in the moment playing it and uh, adjusting slightly, but still having, you know, some pretty legit difficulties. They axe murdered. That's a thing. The ones who carry axes don't just rip through the barricade more. They actually can ax murder your allies. What the shit? That couldn't have derailed what I was saying more aggressively. I think I was saying, hey, I got used to aiming a little bit. It's kind of cool that they actually created a way in which you have to aim. It's like recreating the sense of panic of being like, ah, I gotta point this gun somewhere. I gotta try and hit something. I'm spending this one last night here and I got a gas tank out of it. That's not great. A gas cylinder. So it's not even like a gas tank that I, I put in my car to drive more quickly. I should not stay the additional night to try and clear out the area. I kind of thought I could go straight to Jonestown. Now I'm concerned I have to go Aspenwood. It would be a really extra stop. Population here is very little. That concerns me because that means it's not going to have a whole lot of anything. Middle of nowhere. Haven't heard anything more on the radio about the evacuation. Can only hope they stick to their time frame. Don't like my chances of finding much here. Best to get what I can and keep moving. Union City or bust. There is so little here. I should go to the old house and the sheriff's like pretty much right away. Oh, a lot of these take five because they're far away. That would be why. But I got a landmine and a hunting rifle. I'll use the rifle just to like try it. If it doesn't go well, I'm switching back to the bow because the bow was crazy fun. Do I, d does the hunting rifle not have like a, a, a sight to aim down? I kind of thought it might have a little bit, to, uh, something to help me with the aim. Like that's 
been not a part of the game so far, that would make a lot of sense to me. Landmine! <laughs> I mean, the rifle's strong. It's a little bit slow. Chainsaw. <laughs> oh, you want to come up close? I got a chainsaw for you with, with your name on it. All of your names. You all got your names on the chainsaw. It's a big chainsaw. There's a lot of room. Oh, they made, they made the ammo of the chainsaw much less excessive. The chainsaw was unstoppable originally, and I appreciate them scaling that back. I'm going back to the bow, because the bow is fun as hell. Especially when there's walls of zombies coming at you like this. You can't, like, <laughs> there's so many of them that you essentially can't miss. There's nothing can go wrong there. This game is not more difficult than the first one, but they ramped up the fun a wild amount. This game is very fun. I think I would be able to find more if I stuck around. I'm going to do it. I am going to do it. I'm going to do the, the small farmhouse because I bet you that's a trick. They would think that you wouldn't do that when I'll do the old house way far away. But this is it. This is the last day I spend in this area. Two survivors found. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, someone want to step up and take his place then? I've, I'm talking here about uh, I got survivors to spare. You guys want to come up and, and, you know, make that matter? You guys suck at manning barricades. You know that? Don't stand somewhere where you're at risk like that, you Fools? How did you survive this long? By standing in front of all your barricades? Morons. Behind the barricade and out of reach. You'd think you'd figure that out quickly. Oh god, I actually had to reload the chainsaw. That really threw off my, my, my groove. Oh, Jonestown is huge. Jonestown. It might just be Jonestown. That's for sure the biggest one. Well, that's terrifying. I only have two weeks left. 15 of possible 40. Last stop. Union City is only a few days from here. Better hurry. Miss that boat. And I get the feeling it's all over. So I can't mess around. Basically, as soon as travel's available, I got to take it. Because I, I know that I have a few days of travel that I have to factor in. A survivor found. That's good. I'll take it. That means we, we got a full line up again, don't we? No, that's right. Shit, I forgot that we're limited that amount. Yikes. Okay, time to start actually laying traps, I think. I'm thinking all of a sudden, the more I could do... No, oh, don't immediately... Wait. Ugh, the traps are like a fail safe, okay? The, the dog runs straight through it. Is that his super dog power is that he can skip traps. It, may, it probably stops making sense the more you think on it, but it makes sense that dogs would nimbly avoid traps. Best in show. There's a real sense of like, I need to protect these survivors. Before it was like, hey, you wanna join my crew? Look after yourself, okay? Like every, every man for himself, we're gonna do our best to like protect this barricade and, and not let the zombies get us. But there's like this really crazy cool feeling that because the zombies can just Kind of reach over and kill them the second that they approach the barricade this like not really paternal but i don't know heroism kicks in and you're like i gotta get there and i gotta save this guy an m4a1 sounds good i'm sure if you know things about guns i'm sure it's great i'm i'm, I'm not giving anyone my bow my bow is mine and mine alone i ain't giving up my my baby <laughs> What <laughs> baby? That's mine. Yeah, back off, okay? We can joke about it a little bit. I can joke about it. You guys can't. Oh my god, those initial first things. I hate when one of my guys gets killed as the level starts. What is that? What am I supposed to do about it? I feel like they, they balanced out the, the weaponry in the game a little bit. Yeah, some of these traps are kicking in. The traps are rad. Fucking two guys down. Modern weapons, you know, it's effective, does the trick, but it doesn't have that just one Wonderful haptic feedback of, of pulling a bow and pegging a zombie between the eyes from a hundred yards, you know? I'm running a perfect record right now. I haven't lost a night, but that was brutal because my barricade's down so low. I have like no survivors, so I need to, I think, probably dedicate my time to searching apartments. Oh, calm the nerves. Beer break. Oh, I could totally go traveling. Ah, oh, well, let's stay and kill things for a minute first. I can't end on an M141 run, whatever the shit it's called. I'm ending on a bow run. Live and die by the bow. If I end up screwing this up, if this is not the last wave, <laughs> I don't know, it's just funny to me. <laughs> it seems like a good plan in the moment. 
You know? Yeah! That blew up like three propane tanks at once, and then I uh, blew up the rest of them. There you go. Most things are gone. I didn't. We didn't even need more survivors, guys. Why weren't we just collecting more landmines? No, people are useless in the apocalypse. Like, what good are people gonna do? Landmines is how we're gonna reclaim society. I, I think if you read the ancient Greek texts, they knew it all along, and we should have been listening for, for centuries, that millennia, even. It all comes down to landmines. This is a little dicey. I'm a little scared. I'm having to do a lot of at the wall chainsawing. Fuck. Mm. You're dead. Kind of your zombie now. That same joke coming back. <gasps> Did you not get the traps back? That seems unfair. Because that means your first attempt, the one that you died on, is the one you were going to have the best chance at. I guess that's an argument for saving your traps and not using them all in one stupid, massive attempt where you burn through all your supplies at once. That, that's the one argument against. One, one against. We'll have to make a pros and cons list. Con artist games. 28 days later, dead. You know? That's, uh, that's something. Who would have thought that those traps made that much of a difference? Holy shit, those traps made all the difference. All right, I guess I have to concede that while the bow is fun, it doesn't do shit when every goddamn enemy is a runner. Now I'm landmine free too, which is not by choice. It's not like, uh, you know, a post-apocalyptic uh, apocalyptic veganism or anything. I'm not, I'm not trying to make a stand or anything. Believe me, I would have more landmines if I could. Those green vest guys are impossible. As far as I was concerned, I was out of here. This was for fun. This was supposed to be a victory lap. And now all of a sudden, uh, things are this difficult? I've, I'm regretting some choices that I, I may have made. I don't know what was up. Oh, come on. You guys couldn't take out that one dog. Now you're going to abandon me. I don't know what was up with that, that one attempt where literally every enemy that came was a runner. Please don't reset my progress by going to the menu. No, that's so stupid. I just wanted to continue and then make the choice to not fight that night. I genuinely don't have time to restart, which is a shame. I found someone else's video. Apparently, Fort Tran is optional. You can go branch out and do that. I don't think the journey to Union City uses days. I may have been unclear on that. Union City, safe at last. It's finally over. Well, you said that last time. Anyways, I'm pretty bummed about throwing away my own progress like that. If I would have just not been greedy and would have just traveled to Union City, I was there. Lesson learned. It's a shame because apparently if you, like I, I did read a quick thing that if you go to Fort Tran and like fully sweep it, you can get like a rocket launcher, which is absurd and fun and insane and sounds great. <laughs>